Hi everyone, just a quick video on what your battery voltage should be. So uh, obviously this is a normal lead acid battery on a car uh, and the voltage that it gives out will tell you the in internal condition of the battery and whether it will need replacing in the near future. Being a lead acid battery, what I've got inside there is lead dioxide plates on the positive and lead on the negative and a solution of sulfuric acid and water in there. And those items change it from a chemical energy to an electrical energy, which is what we need to run the car. If a battery is left to stand for a period of time and gets below the 12.4 volts, uh, then crystals, uh, lead sul uh, sulfate crystals build up on those positive and negative plates and it stops the chemical reaction changing to electricity. And that's why we see a steady uh, reduction in voltage uh, at the battery posts. Um, that's called sulfation. So um, what you need to do to keep your battery in good condition is to keep it over the 12.4 volts. When you buy a battery off the shelf, you'd be expecting 12.6, 12.7 volts. But as you can see from the diagram there, anything above 12.4 is acceptable and it's a fully charged, fully functioning battery and over 60% of the charge is still in the battery. Uh, if you do leave a battery to discharge for a small period of time, down to 12 to 12.4 volts, obviously that's partially charged and the car does need to run. The alternator, alternator needs to refill the battery. Uh, I have a separate video on how to test an alternator should you need to, but the battery is uh, starting to build up uh, sulfuric crystals and it is starting to degrade so it is uh, less efficient than it was and obviously you can see from the diagram there if it's under 12 volts uh, it's, you're going to have starting and charge well starting problems anything under 11.8 and it's very unlikely the car is going to start obviously if the uh, climate's cold it's going to be even more likely that it will struggle to start the car um, obviously there is current as well sometimes you can have internal shorts in the battery so the post voltage looks fine but the actual uh, current can't come out of the battery so uh, again, I've done another video on testing the amps coming out of the battery, uh, but for today, we're just sticking to the to the voltage. So what I've got is my multimeter. I'm gonna set it to 20 DC volts because it's a 12.6 volt battery. Inside that battery, there are six cells and they should be 2.1 volts each, which gives you the 12.6. So let's turn on the multimeter. I've got the black lead in the negative uh, over here and I've got the red lead in the positive. So I'm just gonna turn it on to, 12, uh, to the 20 setting because it should be around about 12.6. And my multimeter is saying at the moment I've got 12.77 volts. So that's a very healthy battery reading. So there'll be no problem starting starting this car. Again, if I was getting anything under under 12.4, then it is starting to degrade. Uh, and again, under 12, you'd be looking to replace the battery. Using vibrating trickle chargers can sometimes recover the battery and shake those crystals off the plates inside the battery. Uh, but long term, it's not probably going to be a full, a full solution. Uh, once you get down to under 12, the battery's may recover for a short time, but most of the damage will be done. But uh, again, if you keep your battery voltage over 12.4 by regularly running the battery or using a trickle charger around about 12.4, the battery life will be the longest it's going to get. Obviously, over a period of time, it is always going to degrade. There's no way around that. But uh, keeping the battery used and over 12.4 is the way to prolong the battery life. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in the next one.